वेलकम बैक टू ई पी जी प्रोग्राम इन जैपनीज पेपर फाइव कम्युनिकेशन थ्रू ट्रांसलेशन हो या कुछ सूचित है नो कम्युनिकेशन वी आर इन टू मॉड्यूल ट्वेंटी नाइन नाउ लर्न वाइल प्रैक्टिसिंग एंड वी गो टू द लीगल सेक्शन द लीगल मॉड्यूल वंस अगेन जिस चैन शी नगर गाक्षु सुरु हो रित सुबुन नो हो या कु द मॉड्यूल हैज बिन डेवलप्ड टुगेदर विद अनु कुमारी द ट्रेनिंग एट और ऑन गोइंग ट्रांसलेशन ट्रेनिंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ सी एस आर नेस्केयर Now this module covers uh, application of CPCI theory and translation techniques as as done in the previous modules for translating legal documents. Here also, simplification remain the key. Simplification through combination and permutation, and looking through the prism of CPCI, handling uh, the content in this case is taxation. This is the recapitulation uh, from the previous module. first is that the combination of macro frame and the 5w1h uh, is an efficient and smooth way of doing translation it can be the frame plus uh, 5w1h it can be frame plus 5w1h and substitution so any combination is fine whatever you feel makes you happier makes makes the job easier for you is better but we are finding that macro frame plus 5w1h yields better result it makes the things easier and this process itself does not become burden understanding the frame in the previous module we found would have been uh, a better uh, way out to the job would have become simpler then the 5w1h and frame etc renders the translation in a mechanical manner so obviously you cannot have an outcome or output uh, which will have that spirit coming in absolute terms so if you want to bring that sense or essence also then some fine tuning is required and if you want to go for publish worthy translation then of course it has to be rewritten that means own the original content go by the mechanical manner own the final translation and then final translation you rewrite and the core equivalent for toyo we came out with the conclusion in the previous module is called and depending upon the context uh, or the relationship of the elements in the in the context it can be translated in you know through various uh, uh, equivalents and we found one interesting one that was amounting to such as wherein etc or even dropped in some cases therefore we begin with uh, whenever toyo comes you start translating it as called and that it can be further fine tuned contextually there are uh, you know there was another unit which we found in the or actually expression which we thought that can be treated as a unit sono saini because saini refers to a particular Uh, action or sequence of events or uh, happening or festival so when it is translated it you will have to pick up the exact word from the context in the in the previous module it was the process and the last when subject understanding becomes prerequisite and uh, you need to uh, spend lot of time in understanding that subject it may not be economically viable and it sometimes it it becomes tiring to understand a subject which you are not very keen to learn or which is very far from your usual subject or usual areas of interest therefore uh, unit is one solution or unit is one way to make that job simpler if you have units available for that particular subject or the expressions or the phrases used in that particular subject it will make the job much simpler let's see some examples of the legal sentence and uh, disclaimer please remember that the translation which is given in if for the examples given in this particular module and even in the previous one also are actually second or the revised translation only and they are not the ultimate or the perfect translations let's see the example one uh, for the sake of uh, saving on the time and uh, giving explanation on the important elements uh, let's skip reading the example let's start straight away with the 5w1h with the question and answer so anu can you read both question and answer first question is nani ni taishite answer would be tao no teyaku koku no ijo shani shi harabareru rishi ni taishite wa wait in fact this is the subject uh, about or topic about which it's going to be talked about because taishite wa is actually making the this this preceding clause uh, topic Uh, therefore it it looks quite complicated but don't get bogged down by the by the content uh, just remember nitaishteva so rishi nitaishteva is enough and rest of the portion can be translated later on we have done the translation here 
uh, of this part only. Next question is, Sushil, answer is, uh, if you know Kyaku Koti Naini Elte Shoji, ఇప్పుడు <laughs> so uh, this is technical term so it can be left out so in within something nyoite shoji so it generates and then rishini taishteva next question is nanida dekiru mm -hmm. answer would be sozeyo khasuru koto ga dekiru sozeyo khasuru koto ga dekiru so there are quite interesting things coming here so let's do do these things uh, step by step i would request all of you to focus on small small pieces and as this is a online uh, uh module so you can see it repeatedly you can stop it and see it again i would request you all not to stop in between see the module once in continuity then come back and see it again you'll have a better clarity next question is dokodo answer would be sogai tao mo teyaku kutumi oi this was simple okay see 5w1h is working wonderfully here okay this is the combination of what all uh, answers were there this is the published translation which was available so now let's compare the two okay let's see the comments also see not much difference in both the translation here hmm? interesting uh, 5w1h has helped us reach a level where you find that the translation the published translation is also you know coming quite close to the published translation so it's too early to make this comment and though it's not mentioned in this uh, module also you can probably think that a 5w1h rendered translation which we talked about in the recapitulation also will be a mechanical output do you do you understand what i mean to say the published translation in the case of legal in the case of taxation is also a mechanical mechanically written document therefore it is difficult because it's mechanically written long document it's not one paragraph one page will have probably 8 to 10 paragraphs and then there will be 5 to 10 pages of contract so you get tired when you are reading mechanical and it makes the content difficult and same is true about japanese also because in japanese also the text is written in the, in the same manner and uh, translation with 5w1h is explicit because it 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 explains because you are talking in you are trying to find out what is happening why it is happening how it is happening so when when the answers come it becomes explicit automatically how the published translation has readability as it's uh, as it maintains the target language style because the writer has got experience in the in this particular domain so let us use the published translation uh, through the prism of cpi cpci now okay these are the two translation translation 1 and translation 2 that is translation 2 is the published translation here and we are picking up uh, some examples or some components rishi nitaishteva and it's getting translated as as for in the case of uh, translation done mechanically and in the in the published translation it's getting dropped and therefore nitaishteva uh, becomes an expression so can you read out the learning here getting dropped in translation 2 as nani uh, nani rishi gets connected to sozeyo kazuri koto ga dekiru directly, directly. in english mm -hmm. use of expression in the source text was a way to express explicitly yeah so in the in the source text explicit uh, expression was required so nitaishte what was used it's easier to express what you want to say but if you want to put, put it directly you have to be an experienced person and it has to be said probably it has to be checked again and again and the category of cpci in this particular case for this uh, expression uh, expression is actually dropped and the category is implicit yes read out the second uh, component so second one priyaku kokunai ni oite shoji hmm. see ni oite shoji basically so ni oite is in 
and the expression is we are just picking up the expression ni oite is connecting uh, to shoji uh, as in in the uh, at here in is the which is the closest uh, equivalent while uh, the essence of oite is transferred contextually in the verb you know there is a verbal uh, essence in ni oite that is transferred contextually and this is the the equivalent used here is core you know depending on the context ni taishte wa can be dropped we have seen this uh, in the previous examples also the object gets connected to the verb directly this is the condition hmm? yes read dot please hmm? you know text can be levied as the direct translation but if you see all the examples and or even if you read uh, any such text you will find maybe text so it's a it's uh, soze is text o kasuru kasuru is apply or put ga dekhiro so apply text and there is a verb available maybe text so it may be text gives the direct so this may be treated as core equivalent at the unit level uh, i have already explained this so probably not required we can uh, we can go ahead let's see the example 2 and uh, let's start with 5w1 x straight nani ni taishite answer is ichi no rishi ni taishite wa ichi no rishi ni taishite wa in this case you know ichi was available so you can understand that ichi one which is coming prior to this so reni sono rishi ni taishite wa but uh, but if it is not there then you have to probably translate it literally and this is a literal translation coming here nani ta dekhi answer is ओके and next is sore de dosuru sono sore no gaku wa togai rishi no ju ju to sha ga togai rishi no ju eki sha de aru bae wa tsugi no gaku o koinai mono to suru ke tsugi no gaku o koinai mono to suru and rest is explanation so it's a smaller sentence with the, within the sentence could have been handled uh, uh, if if it is difficult so it can be handled separately but the important part here is tsugi no uh, gaku o koenai mono to suru okay see uh, it's too small for me can you read out uh, first comment is number of question depends on the degree of familiarity lesser the familiarity simple uh, simpler and more yeah this can be treated as a principle that if you put more number of questions it becomes more clear but then the job of putting questions and you know arranging the answers it itself becomes a job so you may probably lose interest in doing the translation if you try to apply this technique uh, for each and every paragraph so lesser the number of questions it will be more comfortable for you to handle it but then you should have more familiarity uh, to have less number of questions and uh, for example in this case uh, more questions such as doko de and dona bai could have been added or could have been put for answer 2 and 3 this is the translation coming out from the combination of what answers we received from received in the previous slide and this is the published translation again available if you see carefully uh, published translation is smaller here this means the same content has been brought together and let's see the difference now you yeah, just read out the comments uh, translation done by using 5w1h technique results in direct translation it means accurate but slightly blunt we are writing again and again in you know almost all modules these comments because you must be clear that what you are using is not that you should use it per se you should use it only if it is useful for you next is appropriate writing style of target language in Published translation leads to better readability without compromising accuracy. This is translation one and translation two is the published translation, and uh, we are picking a few 
components and in this case also Ichino Rishini Taishteva translated as, as for in the case of translation 1, it is getting dropped in the case of translation 2. Uh, explanation can you read out? Uh, similar to example 1, uh, it is getting dropped in translation 2 as Rishi directly connects to Sozeo Kasuri Kotova Dikido. In Japanese, it is explicit way of writing and the bar native topic which gets connected to verb directly in English. Okay, so the important thing here uh, which, which one should remember is that as far is getting dropped or Nita Ishteva is getting dropped in the published translation. So, published translation means because it is rewritten, the person who is writing, he will write in his own style. So, Nita Ishteva being a Japanese expression, it is getting dropped and this essence uh, for which Nita Ishteva was used is brought very naturally in the in the rewritten text. Yes, please read. Next expression is ni oite no. In uh, translation 1, it is even in and in translation 2, it is also something in. So, not much different, uh, but just read the expression, the Sim learning. Similar to example 1, uh, nani nani ni oite connects to teyaku koku and therefore translated as in. Also, mm -hmm. A plus ni oite can be taken as quasi universal unit where A represents a place and here mu shows emphasis in the beginning such interest refers to each in Okay. One more uh, that is koenai monodosuru is I think very important shall not exceed. So, suppose I say ju uh, o koenai monodosuru. So, shall not exceed 10. Ika so, it shall not exceed what is given below. So, it is very, very good uh, unit which can universal unit that can be used for uh, wherever you require in almost all the subjects. Just, just read the learning. Okay. Yeah, you can read out this also. First comment is expression nani nani koinai monotosuru will always behave in same manner in any domain. Therefore, universal unit and the equivalent used here is of co capital under CPC. Mm -hmm. Next is juiki uh, shop is equal to beneficiary, uh, which is code and uh, beneficial owner will be contextual. Yeah, this is interesting. See, koinai monotosuru at this unit level is core. The equivalent use is core and ju ekisha beneficiary is the core but when you go for beneficial owner although this owner is probably coming from sha and beneficial probably is an adjectival, adjectival form coming from ju eki but this is contextual because it is changing and because there must be some owner or some ownership was, must have been required in the context otherwise sha does not mean owner. One more example, let us uh, let's go further. This is a little bit bigger example, so I would request all of you to uh, note, jot down this example, divide it into pieces and try yourself and then look here and you will find it uh, interesting in various ways. Yes, let us start from WH, 5W1H. First question is, nani ni taishite? Answer is, ippo no te yaku koku no kiyo no yurishi ni taishite. Okay. Next is, don't na bai. Answer is, kono kiyo ga kare no Next question is Nani Vadikiri. Answer would be Togai Ipo no Teyaku Kokuni Oite Nuni and Sozeo Kasuru Kotova Dikiri. See again Sozeo Kasuru Kotova Dikiri is coming, so this is the used here. So this means its uses is frequencies is higher. Uh, in the second sentence, there was something called Kagiru. What was that? Okunawanai uh, Kagiri. So, Jigyo Okunawanai Kagiri. Okunawanai uh, Kagiri again, we will study it further, but is, is, a, is a unit uh, which needs to be remembered. Next question is Sozeo Kasuru Kotova I think let us let us read the last part of this that is the last line that is okay so in what case uh, or so janai baiwa what do you do in, in when it is not so so something 
において疎通を可化することができる。And similarly, the translation would be when something, when it is not like this, then it will be, can be text. Yes, even a long answer can be picked up、uh, from one question once the degree of familiarity improves. So, you can, if you find it difficult, you can translate it separately or maybe break it down into smaller sentences, micro frame, micro frame, etc. However,、uh, there are too many issues in this translation. You know, although it, is, it has been translated in one go, but there are issues. Let's see those issues. The, let's see the, the comparable example. This is the compare example. This is the revite, revised translation, and I think we have. Now, if we, if we okay, look at you know,、uh, through the 5W1H、uh, once again, you know, is just put the question and see. Let's compare the translation 1 and translation 2. Donna bai. Okay, Donna bai,、uh, you know, it's at, at the end it says, Jigyo oko nau bai ni wang, and this is the detail. Now, if you see carefully, the first translation is the literal translation, word by word translation. It covers almost everything. Translation 2 says in too, too small print. Can you read it,、uh, Anu, for me? Translation 2 is when the enterprise conducts business as aforesaid. Okay, when the enterprise conducts the business as aforesaid. Because in the previous para or in, in the previous context, or maybe, maybe in, the, in, in the same paragraph, the previous sentence, Has explained all the elements, and these elements are occurring in the same order with the same relationship in this sentence. Therefore, it can be, it can be called as aforesaid. This covers everything. And there are some more、uh, comparisons. Just please read out that、uh, comments. Tier 1. Tier 1 is direct and literal translation.、Uh, tier 2 implicit. Okay. Aforesaid means stated above, and thus repetition avoided. Same content has come in the previous sentence. Okay. Yeah, once again. Yeah, please、uh, do the same thing. Translation one is regarding the part of company's profits only that has to be returned either directly or indirectly for the permanent establishment. A correction is profits of that enterprise can, can be taxed in that country to, that,、uh, to the extent directly or indirectly. Attribu attributable to that permanent、hmm. So, size wise, not so different, but the quality wise, the se second translation is certainly better. So, let's see the comments.、Uh, comment is Nani Nani ni Kaise Rari ni Bogin. This was probably not translated correctly in the translation one. Okay. Part attributable with money to the extent attributable. Object and verb are linked directly, therefore, ni taishte is dropped. So, in two components, ni taishte is dropped here, that is one part, and the second is that、uh, because it is,、uh, you know, to the extent attributable is very important here. So, kaise r a r e r u bobun, if you say the part that can be put on, obviously means to the extent it can be attributed. You know, what would be the category of this?、Uh, we have not written here this. If we treat ni kaiserare du bubun, actually ni kaiserare is kaiserare alone is enough, and this the equivalent would be attributable for this part.、Hmm? Attributable to. Attributable to.、Hmm? Now, this is translation with 5W1H and the revised translation given here, and just read out the comments. First one is this. In summary, translation through 5W1H seems to be blunt as the equivalents as well as the style do not render desired quality. Next is in the revised translation, equivalents and style have been selected to suit the flow. Also, equivalent selection for Hebrew, Jigyo, Okonawa, Nai Hajuri, Soze, Okasuru, Kotoga, Dekiru, etc., will be explained through CPCI in the next slides. Okay. Yeah. This is the published translation, okay. Just read the comments.、Uh, there is not much difference between the revised translation and the published translation. 
So let us see the revised translation through the prism of CPCI now. Okay. Uh, the first sentence component is uh, Kiyo no, what's written there? Kiyo no, Kiyo no Ritoku ni taishteva and as for something for the ni taishteva and it's an expression similar to example 1 and 2 here also Ritoku directly connects to uh, Sozo yo kasuru, koto ga dekiru. So in Japanese it is explicit, in the case of uh, English it is directly connected and uh, the the equivalent in this particular case would be because it's impl in, in English it's actually implicit but for explicit and implicit we are using only one category so it's implicit category expression is dropped okay kigyo you know kigyo can be company and enterprise both but uh, suppose I say I am in the company of a very good friend that's not enterprise it, you can say it has got some link, you know, you are in the company of say some good person or maybe a good friend or maybe a good uh, teacher and it can lead to something which is enterprising, yes, possible, but directly it is slightly different. So, enterprise is the better equivalent for the Kigyo and it can probably be called core equivalent for the Kigyo. So, ni uh, taishteva, it's quite interesting to note here that it's getting dropped very often. This means, uh, of course, the condition remains if it's, it gets connected directly to the main verb. Yeah, please read out. Yeah, I thought we will take, take up this Okonawa Nai Kagiri as expression. Translation one of unless conduct operation and translation two is so long as something does not conduct operations. Okay, so long as is better expression, fine. Comment is both equivalents can be used, but it begins with so long. Okay, and the CPCI equivalent is core in this case uh, at expression level. Hmm? Yeah, please read up. Next is te yaki koku nai ni yari koku koku shukutsu. Translation one is permanent establishment of that contract uh, contracting state, and then translation two is permanent. Establishment situated there. Hmm. Situated therein means situated in that particular country or that particular entity within that particular entity, and this will be treated as uh, what is the what is the unit you are picking up here? Any uh, aru b. Any aru b. Okay. Hmm. So, uh, and explanation is uh, here. So, equals to A ni aru B. Hmm. In translation to uh, something something ni aru equals to situated there and next could be uh, koki utiki shukutsu. That yeah. is P permanent uh -huh. There are two components. One is ni aru is getting translation uh, situated therein and the uh, the P is again a permanent entity, is, is again a permanent establishment, again is a concept slightly diff so it is a type of type of company or it's a category of company you can say so it's a it's a unit again you know only representative examples are shown here so all components can be explained uh, through this method because we have picked a few only uh, because of because the time allotted for the module is limited yeah this is the learning from the module and uh, the first learning is that regardless of the domain, 5W1H technique helps in translation, though it is mechanical. Longer answer uh, per question is possible, but only the after the after you are familiarized, after you have familiarized with the whole technique. Higher the degree of familiarity for the questions, and it would mean that you have in-depth knowledge of the source language as well as target language, then only you should attempt it. At least one standard translation can be obtained uh, through application of technique. Uh, not at least one, at least near standard translation can be obtained. It is the fine tuning that makes the difference. You know, the standard translation, I should say, um, the first translation is a mechanical translation. Second translation, where you have done some fine tuning, is standard translation. And after that, it will depend on the person who wants to, who, you know, who, who is giving the individual touch, depending on that the finished, finishing touch will come. Ni taishteva acts very often as a object, uh, sorry as a topic and may be dropped, 
during transpositioning if it connects that connects directly to the relevant verb longer phrases can be considered as units particularly if you if the rep if the representation is core for example sozeo kasuru koto wa dekiru sozeo kasuru both can be taken up uh, separate units then koenai mono to suru to text okay can you read the next contextual core and key in all contextual jp uh, hmm. sir sha equals to beneficiary code and beneficial owner contextual next is uh, cpci advantage appropriate equivalent and leads to improves the uh, improvement in quality and which leads to free translation cpci pa parameters can be used to evaluate quality in terms of accuracy readability and style that's, that's all in this module uh, these are the references and thank you very much for being with, being with me arigatou gozaimasu see you again with few more examples in module 13